Well, no, no, before we talk about the game, let me ask about Danilo, because oh. that looks horrible for any player at any stage and on opening day as well. Have you heard anything? How is he? I'm, uh, we know he's, he's in the hospital and doing the exams and we know that it's serious. It was a tough moment for everybody here, uh, the fans, us. Danilo is a very special, first of all, special person, the way he works with a smile in his face. And then we're going to miss the, his quality, his talent, what he gives to the team. Um, and wish him and hope for the best. Let's hope he's not too much time. Yeah, we wish him well. Yeah. Um, when that happens in, in a, in, at any stage in a game, but you could see immediately this sort of horror on some of the other players' faces because they'd seen it happen. How much does that sort of affect what then happens in the rest of the game? I know you took the lead fairly soon after it, but that must be tough for players to sort of react to, to something like that happening. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you can see the, the, the reactions of the players. Um, because we all love Danilo and first of all in their minds for sure in my mind we don't think about football we just think about how easy um, hope that is nothing serious then you see how, how bad it is the situation and you start thinking but I, that goes one minute after I think the team reacted well switch on Yeti came came really really well in the game and we, we keep moving forward. And then you had a really good spell in the game, didn't you, just after that? And you, you took the lead, playing well at that stage. Yeah, I think we play well. We finish. Overall, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Um, if we go a little bit in front, I think we can see, in a, OK, you can call bad luck, but I think we should have done better also. Um, but the, the cover was there, was just the ball that Mouse hit Murillo. Because in that moment, I felt the game was, was, was under control. We had a lot of possession, a lot of... Of, of situations um, higher in the pitch, bit good combinations, in the final pass, uh, controlling all the counter attacks, that uh, pressing really high, recovering the ball. Um, like I said, overall I think it was a, a good game. Both teams had, had chances. Bournemouth is a good team, but um, it feels like uh, we could have done it, take it to the final line. It seems an obvious thing to say now, but disappointed perhaps that you couldn't go on and get the, the second goal. Yeah, we, that's what um, I think we had situations to kill the game um, because good combinations, um, just the final pass to come. But if you cannot score, you cannot, you cannot concede. It's so late in the game, something that um, we should have done better. As you say, a little bit of misfortune about it, though, yeah, right? from your see, point of view. Uh, we see over and every does well, kicks the ball. The ball will, will go probably out, out of the pitch. Um, it bounces on Danilo and then it's an easy touch. Yeah. Um, important, I guess, not to get too down about the fact that you haven't won on opening day. No, 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 we are not down. We are aware of, we've been working very hard uh, since day one, what, six, six, six weeks of preparation. And that gives me satisfaction that we, we give this answer uh, on a real competition, competing well, fighting, controlling, playing, creating. Um, so let's move forward. Just one quick word, if we may, about Ramon Sosa, who, of course, you mm. signed officially was announced last night. Pleased to have him on board? Yes, I think um, he can bring us different things on the, on the wing. He can both play both sides. He's a talented player. but And you can see from all the teams in the, in the Premier League, um, players that come need some time um, because, like us, there's quality in the squad and he has to work really hard to get in the team and we are here to support him.